encountering malevolent individuals who intentionally seek to harm or manipulate others can be more challenging than dealing with difficult people. Identifying these individuals is essential for self-protection and well-being. In this video, we'll discuss 10 signs of a truly malevolent person. 1. Lack of Empathy One of the most prominent characteristics of malevolent individuals is their profound lack of empathy. They seem incapable of understanding or caring about the feelings and well-being of others. These individuals often dismiss the emotions and needs of others, making them prone to cruelty and manipulation without remorse. If you notice someone consistently disregarding the feelings of others, it may be a sign of malevolence. Dealing with someone who lacks empathy can be emotionally draining. Setting clear boundaries and openly communicating your expectations with the individual is essential. Limiting your contact with them, especially if they consistently disregard your emotions and needs, can help protect your well-being. Seeking support from friends, family, or a therapist can provide you with the emotional strength needed to cope with the challenges posed by such individuals. 2. Manipulative Behavior Malevolent individuals are adept manipulators. They use various tactics to control and exploit others. This manipulation can take many forms, such as gaslighting, guilt-tripping, or emotional blackmail. They are skilled at pushing people's buttons and twisting situations to their advantage. If you find yourself frequently feeling confused or manipulated in someone's presence, be cautious. It could be a malevolent person at work. Malevolent individuals are skilled manipulators, and it's crucial to equip yourself with knowledge about their tactics. Educating yourself on manipulation techniques can help you recognize when they are being used against you. Keeping a record of interactions and instances of manipulative behavior can serve as evidence if needed. Additionally, maintaining your independence and making decisions based on your own judgment rather than succumbing to their control is a powerful way to counter their manipulative tendencies. 3. Frequent Lying Lying is a common trait among malevolent individuals. They lie to conceal their true intentions, create confusion, or tarnish someone else's reputation. These lies can be bold or subtle, but they often serve the purpose of advancing their agenda or undermining others. Pay attention to inconsistencies in their stories and a pattern of dishonesty. Dealing with someone who frequently lies can be frustrating and confusing. To navigate this, it's essential to verify information independently and cross-check facts provided by the person. Trust your instincts. If something feels off or inconsistent, don't hesitate to question it. When necessary, calmly confront the lies and express your concerns, encouraging transparency in your interactions. 4. A history of harmful actions. Past behavior can be a strong indicator of malevolence. If an individual has a history of harming others physically, emotionally, or financially, it's a significant red flag. Malevolent people often leave a trail of destruction in their wake, whether it's through toxic relationships, unethical business practices, or other harmful actions. Recognizing a pattern of harmful actions in an individual's past should prompt you to evaluate the nature of your relationship with them. Consider whether it's worth maintaining a connection with someone who consistently causes harm, whether it's physical, emotional, or financial. Your well-being and safety should be paramount. Take precautions to protect yourself, and if necessary, report any illegal actions to the appropriate authorities. 5. Enjoyment in Others' Suffering Malevolent individuals often derive pleasure from the suffering of others. They may make cruel jokes, taunt, or intentionally create distressing situations to witness the pain they cause. This sadistic pleasure in others' suffering sets them apart from individuals who may inadvertently hurt someone's feelings. Witnessing malevolent individuals derive pleasure from others' suffering can be distressing. To mitigate this, limit your engagement in conversations or situations that cater to their sadistic tendencies. Maintaining emotional distance and focusing on self-care and emotional resilience can help protect your mental and emotional well-being. 
seeking guidance from a professional therapist can be valuable in dealing with the emotional impact of such interactions. 6. Lack of accountability. A malevolent person rarely takes responsibility for their actions. They deflect blame onto others, make excuses, or downplay the harm they've caused. This lack of accountability enables them to continue their harmful behavior without remorse or consequences. If you notice someone consistently avoiding responsibility for their actions, be wary. They might be malevolent. Dealing with someone who consistently avoids taking responsibility for their actions can be frustrating. Clearly state your expectations for responsibility and accountability in your interactions with them. Avoid enabling their behavior by not covering up for them or making excuses on their behalf. Additionally, lead by example and demonstrate personal accountability in your own actions to emphasize the importance of responsibility. 7. Constant need for control. Malevolent individuals often have an insatiable need for control over others and situations. They may micromanage, dominate conversations, and impose their decisions on others, regardless of their preferences or well-being. This desire for control extends to all aspects of their relationships and interactions, making it difficult for others to express themselves or make independent choices. When confronted with someone's constant need for control, assert your autonomy and stand up for your right to make your own decisions. Open communication is critical. Express your boundaries regarding control and decision-making in a calm and constructive manner. In more challenging cases, involving a mediator or counselor may help find a middle ground and address control-related conflicts. 8. Pattern of Intimidation and Threats Malevolent individuals may resort to intimidation and threats as tools to manipulate and maintain power over others. They may use verbal or emotional intimidation tactics, such as shouting, name-calling, or belittling, to instill fear and compliance in their victims. This pattern of behavior can create a toxic and hostile environment, leaving those around them feeling constantly on edge. Intimidation and threats can create a toxic and hostile environment. Document any threats made against you to keep a record. If the threats are severe or illegal, it's crucial to involve law enforcement. In extreme cases, consider obtaining a restraining order to ensure your safety and protect yourself from harm. 9. Unpredictable Mood Swings Malevolent individuals may display unpredictable mood swings, switching between charm and aggression seemingly at random. This emotional instability can make it challenging for others to anticipate their behavior or reactions. They may use these mood swings strategically to keep others off balance and maintain control over situations. Managing someone with unpredictable mood swings can be challenging. It's essential to maintain your composure when faced with their mood swings to prevent conflicts from escalating. Encourage open communication to understand their feelings and concerns, and prioritize self-care and emotional stability to protect your own well-being. 10. Isolation of victims. Malevolent people often isolate their victims from friends, family, or support networks. They may discourage or outright forbid contact with others, creating an environment where they have complete influence over their victims' thoughts and actions. Isolation is a powerful tool for manipulators, as it makes it harder for the victim to seek help or escape the harmful relationship. If you find yourself or others isolated by a malevolent individual, take steps to reconnect with your support network, including friends and family who may have been cut off. Seek guidance from a therapist or counselor if you feel trapped or overwhelmed by the isolation. In severe cases, consulting legal authorities for assistance in breaking free from isolation may be necessary to ensure your safety and well-being. Dealing with a malevolent person can be emotionally and psychologically draining, but recognizing the signs early on is essential for protecting yourself and those around you. Keep in mind that these signs are not definitive proof of malevolence, but they are strong indicators that should prompt caution and self-preservation. If you suspect you are dealing with a truly malevolent person, consider distancing yourself from them and seeking support from friends, 
family, or a mental health professional. Your well-being is paramount, and recognizing these signs is a vital step in safeguarding yourself from potential harm.